Human relationship bonds are often based on binary systems of giving and taking. We are interdependent creatures and develop patterns of behavior that allow us to coexist. However, each of us invest our emotions differently and have different attachment styles. When there is an off balance in the relationship, one person may assume a victim or enabler role, while the other person assumes a power position and becomes the controller of the relationship. The condition of codependency and its magnetic opposite narcissism can be found in all forms of relationships. In any situation where one person is relying on another person to have their needs met, there may exist the potential for abuse. These conditions were first created in childhood, and later in adult life they can become life-threatening as we unknowingly repeat the unhealthy patterns of our past. For example, in business or employment, the people controlling the money may have a tendency to use that power in a harmful and manipulative way. People may micromanage and force their will. They may make unrealistic demands and even lie about monetary exchanges and twist the truth about past agreements. In educational situations, teachers and professors may abuse their power and shame some students while giving high accolades to overachievers, creating a sense of inequality between the students. However, one of the most common toxic cycles appears in romantic relationships, and although it affects people of all genders, female domestic abuse statistics are substantially higher than that for males. The romantic toxic cycle is extremely common and often is what creates a sense of attraction as humans tend to gravitate towards people of matching levels of dysfunction. The experience may be anything from mildly harmful to extremely harmful and in some cases fatal. When couples stay in toxic situations together, they form trauma bonds. In this situation, the enabler becomes emotionally crippled and remains trapped in a state of fear, unable to leave the situation. At this level, the relationship has become an addiction for one or both parties and needs to be treated like an addiction. The toxic cycle is present in some of the most harmful behaviors known to humans. Slavery, torture, human trafficking, genocide, and world war are all results of the toxic cycle of abuse on a global scale. Women far more than men fall prey to sexual abuse patterns, and narcissistic men may become abusive womanizers. Although these patterns are not gender exclusive and can happen to anyone, statistically women are the greatest targets for sexual abuse. Protecting yourself from toxic cycles means practicing self-respecting behaviors and becoming aware of the patterns of abuse. If you feel you have a habit of becoming a victim in relationships, please consider these adaptive behaviors. Become aware of the times that you agree to do something that you really do not want to do. Avoid assuming that other people are as emotionally invested as you are. Avoid making excuses for people who are harming you. Take extended time off from any relationships while you build your own self-esteem. Accept the truth that some people may be lying to you. Avoid doing favors for people who are habitually broken or needy. Accept that many people are either incapable or unwilling to change until they have hurt themselves enough. Learn to expect nothing from other people, yet show gratitude and acceptance for their kindness. Care for yourself first and give only when you have more than enough for yourself. And importantly, learn to identify gaslighting and disengage from any abusive situations. If you are currently in a potentially dangerous abusive situation, become aware that the only possible way out is to completely surrender hope that the situation will ever improve. What is happening to you is not your fault, but you are the only one who can start the process. It begins with the willingness to change and accepting that you do not want and cannot live like this anymore. Carefully and while protecting yourself and anyone you're responsible for. Find someone safe and ask for help. Your life can and will get better. Surrender your will to fix the situation and recover your will to live. In the U.S., 
contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233.